Hello, Temple Emmanuel. This is Cantor Whitner here. With the high holidays coming up, I wanted to share some musical selections of things you'll be hearing on Rosh Hashanah. And I'm going to sing a few selections from the Erev service, the evening service. And uh, I wanted you to get a chance to become familiar with some new things and a chance to sort of reacquaint with old friends some tunes that you have absolutely heard before in years past. Uh, in determining much of what we are going to do this year with uh, Paul Mosteler, we had to balance material that Temple Emmanuel is very familiar with, with some of the things that are near and dear to my heart. And of the selections that you'll be hearing from me today, um, there's a little bit of a balance there. I'd say today's selections lean more toward things that I that are probably a little newer to you. But what I will say about those things is that many of those tunes are probably are very similar to things that you have heard before. Um, for example, uh, when we sing Micha Mocha, the version that I selected for the choir this year, uh, you may not have heard before, but you're going to know the tune that goes with it. Micha Mocha Maili Madonai etc. So you will recognize the high holiday motif in there um, and will thus be somewhat familiar with it. And I hope you can appreciate those kinds of decisions that go into this. To begin today, I will be sharing a version of the, high ho the Rosh Hashanah Kiddush by Israel Alter. And this was written to be unaccompanied or maybe uh, accompanied by a small choir that would sort of give a little hum harmonization at the end of every phrase so that the cantor had some sort of harmony under him or her and uh, him at the time probably. And because this was written a long time ago. And uh, this is a little bit more in an Eastern European style, whereas the vast majority of music that Temple Emmanuel is used to hearing at High Holidays and that I am used to performing, given where I grew up at a synagogue in Manhattan called Hebrew Tabernacle uh, that was comprised mostly of Holocaust survivors and their descendants, uh, including myself. Um, that's a much more Central European style, either German, Austrian, um, a little bit of English. Temple Emmanuel definitely has some English music in its uh, history and archives, but, and so did uh, Hebrew Tabernacle, but the vast majority of it was German, of German origin. And this is more of an Eastern European style. And uh, here we go. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher machar manu mikol am Veromemanu mikol lashon Nekidashanu memitzvotav Matiten lanu Adonai Eloheinu be'ahava Et yom hashamat hazem, et yom azikaron hazem, yom zichrom teruam, be'ahava mikera kodesh, zeicher litziahat mitzrayim. Kif manu vanu vachar 
Vortam, Beotanu, Beotanu, Kidashta, Mikol Haamim, Udevarecha Emet, Mekayam La Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Al Kol Haaretz Mekadesh Hashambat Veisrael Meyom Hazikaron Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Mekiyamanu Mehigiyanu Lazeman Okay, that's the biggest feast that I'm going to be sharing with you today, the longest for sure. Next, something simple. I'm just going to sing my version, the Lewandowski version of the Baruchu, which should be familiar sounding and may in fact be something that you at Temple Emmanuel have used before. Here we go. Barhu et atunai amevorach Barhu atunai amevorach piece that immediately follows that is the Shema, and one version that Temple Emmanuel has used in the past is the Herbert Fromm version. And Fromm took the melody that he uses here from what is considered basically a traditional uh, Shema melody for the high holidays. And the version that I am used to doing uh, that I did at Hebrew Tabernacle was one by Louis Lewandowski in which the melody is very, very similar. Uh, it's a little bit more ornamented, but they are derived from the same thing. So that one goes like this, which you have probably heard before. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto there is a version of Hashki Venu by Binder that the choir is going to share with you this high holiday. And I don't believe that Temple Emmanuel has ever heard this before. It's a big choral piece. Um, and I just want to give you a taste of it here. So I'm going to sing the beginning, which is supposed to be choral. I'll just take the melody and do the first uh, little solo. But this piece is actually comprised of two big choir sections and four solos. I believe I will be doing all the solos, but I might give one of them off to someone in the choir. Um, and here's a little taste of the Binder Hashki Venu. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu le 
shalom Ve'amideinu malkeinu lecha It is a gorgeous piece. The choir will do it much better justice than I was able to at the beginning there. I'm going to sing for you the Chatzy Kaddish that we're going to use for Rosh Hashanah. And then I will do a vote from the Amidah of the Tefillah. And a vote, as some of you may know, has an insert called Zohreinu that the choir will sing. And because I actually don't even know the version, I mean, I've heard it, but I have never sung the version, I will skip that section and conclude a vote with the proper ending, the Khatima. If I'm feeling up to it, I'll do Givura for you too. Let's start with the Chatzikar. This is, should be a familiar high holiday tune in here, even if this version is not the one that you've heard in the past. It should be similar enough to things that you've heard probably to recognize some of it. It kadal vit kantash shemera pa bealma divra khirute ve amlik malkhute me khayekhonu vi mekhonu khayet khol bet israel ba agala u bisman karif meimeu Amen. Yeh mevarach le alamulal me alma Barach vishtambach, vit pa arvit romam vid nasei, vit adar vit alevit alal, shemei de kud shaberihu. Leila uleila, min kol mechata veshirata, tush mechata venechemata. Tamiran be alma meimeru amen. And at that point, we would head right into the Amida. Here's our Abu. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Elohei avoteinu veimoteinu Ha no 
Hopefully that's given you a little bit of a sense of the heft that's going to go into this high holidays. Um, but there will be so many more gorgeous pieces by our choir, a lot of the grand massive moments by the choir, but also some of the uh, more introspective moments are going to be sort of guided by the choir music rather than myself also. So they'll be lending a lot to this and I hope they're as excited by much of the music that we are doing as I am. 
And uh, looking forward to my holidays and a Shana Tova Umetuka. May everybody have a happy and sweet new year and hopefully I will see you all soon. And uh, Shana Tova.